guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about buying used books. So if you know anything about me and you watch my book hauls and you hear me talk about books, I buy a lot of my books, almost all of my books, at a thrift store or at a used bookstore. The only time I will buy a book brand new is if it's a new release and I really just have to have it that month and I know I won't be able to find it at a thrift store or used bookstore, I will buy it brand new. If I do buy a brand new book, I will always buy it off of Amazon, especially if you have Amazon Prime, you can get free two-day shipping and you just cannot beat the prices. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the tips that I use when I'm searching for used books at a thrift store. Hopefully this video will help you on your quest to building your library and finding awesome books. Tip number one, go on Google find out where all of the thrift stores are. I mean all of them. All of them. Know where the thrift stores in your area are because all thrift stores are going to be putting out books at different times. Some thrift stores are going to have different selections than other thrift stores. If you live in an area where there's an abundance of thrift stores around you, don't just get stuck on one thrift store. You want to hit up multiple thrift stores because that's where you're going to really be able to find a great selection and you're just going to have so much to choose from. Tip number two, once you find those thrift stores that are in your area, look like good thrift stores, you want to go to them, do some research and find out if they ever have half off Sundays or half off everything on Wednesdays. A lot of my thrift stores will have huge sales on Sundays, they'll have huge sales on holidays, like Memorial Weekend, and so that's like a normal thing. So just find out when they are having those half off sales because when you get a book and it's three dollars at a thrift store but then they have half off uh yeah tip number three if you can and you're kind of a people person find a way to talk to someone who works at the thrift store and ask them when do they put out new books on a Monday do they do it every day at 2 o'clock do they restock every Wednesday every Friday if you find out that information you can go into the thrift store when they've added all that new in inventory and you basically just get first pick if you know that they restock their shelves at 2 o'clock on a Friday you better believe you're showing up there at 201 when they're putting the books out so you can just be fine with those books before other people do Tip number four is a tip that you want to use lightly, and you'll understand what I mean in a minute. You want to generate a list of books that you want, and if you are a booktuber, you're always, you have a monthly TBR, you know what books you want to read, but just have a huge list in your head of authors and titles of books that sound interesting to you and that you really, really want to read. Now, take that tip number four apply it to tip number five. Do not stick to that list completely when you go into the thrift store. So tip number five, don't be afraid to look at books that you haven't heard of or authors you haven't heard of. It's really helpful to go into a thrift store with an idea of some of the popular books that you are looking for, but when you know those popular books, you also know those authors. So, for example, I went to a thrift store and I found Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. I have heard a lot about this book and I was so, so excited when I found this. I went to another thrift store and I found The Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Eugenides. When I saw this, I didn't know the title, but I knew the author, I knew it would probably be good, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Even though it wasn't on a list or a TBR, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I grabbed it because of the author. If you go into a thrift store and you have a very specific book that you want to find, you'll probably come out being kind of disappointed because it is a thrift store and it's not always going to have exactly the exact book that you want, but when you do find that book, oh lord, that's the best day ever. The next tip I have for you is look at every single book on the shelves. Not once, but twice. When you're going out to go to the thrift store and knowing that you want to find some really good books, expect to spend about an hour at the, at the thrift store because you need to look through each and every single title. What I like to do is start at the top and section it off. 
So I'll do like this much of the bookshelf. I'll look through, go to the next, go to the next, go to the next, till I'm like sitting on the floor staring at those books. It's so what I do. It works every time because guys, it's so easy to overlook a book if you're just scanning for something that maybe looks familiar, but if you're actually reading every single title, I promise you, you will find a gem in there. You will find an awesome book that you've been wanting to find or an author that you've been wanting to read. You just really have to look. And then you have to look again. I'll give an example. I was at the thrift store and I was in their YA fiction section and I looked at every single book, I read every single title, and then I moved on to the next. So I like to look through all the books and then I circle around and look through them again. My second time around looking through that YA fiction shelf, I found Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Like, um, yes. For $2.99 and I would have just missed it. I wouldn't have seen I didn't see it the first time. I would have missed it if I wouldn't have gone back the second time around and looked. And the last tip I have for buying used books at a thrift store is do not get discouraged. If you go to a thrift store one week and you walk out with one to two books, do not get discouraged. Go back to that same thrift store in about a week. Or, like I said, find out when they are restocking their inventory and go back. Because I have gone to a thrift store and literally came out with 20 awesome books from that store before. And then I've gone back like two weeks later and I could only find like one book. I wasn't discouraged. I just, you just have to wait. You know, people have to donate their books. People have to bring in their books. So wait a little bit, find out their schedule, hit it up again. And I promise you'll hit it, you'll hit it good one of those times. I hope this video has been helpful for you and hopefully you can save yourself some money by going to a thrift store and finding the books that you really want for really, really, really cheap. Let me know in the comments below if you have any tips that you use when you're thrifting for used books. Alright guys, until next time, happy reading!